Hey, my name is Carlos Sepulveda, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create this horizontal accordion natively here in Webflow. So this accordion uh, is pretty interesting. So we have a wider image here, and we have like you know less wide images and tiny width images here for the bottom. Sorry for the latest images. So if I hover on one of the other images, then the second well, the neighbors of that image in particular are going to keep like 20% um, ratio like that. And the other ones here to the latest positions are going to keep, uh, you know, small. Then if I hover on one of the latest elements is going to, you know, increase uh, the width of the last element. And then the latest elements are going to be this, this two. So let's do that here in a blank project. Okay, so let's bring some of the structure. We're going to need a div block for the wrapper. I'm going to need a div block for the layout. I'm going to need a div block for the panel itself. And yeah, I think those are the div blocks that I need. So let's name these classes. Panel wrapper. Let's call this panel layout. And let's call this panel. Okay. So the panel wrapper, let's make it 100% width, then a height of 100 bh. Um, let's put the pieces inside. Okay, the panel wrapper, I was with this one, and let's make you uh, to be a flex centered. Then this panel layout, I'm going to make the width to be 80 rem, 100 width. 100% width, and for the panel, this is going to be an individual element. Sorry, there are going to be five elements of this. And also we need an image for that. So panel, image. All right, okay, so I have this, and I'm going to make the panel image to be 100. Then I'm going to put the fit to be cover. This is really helpful for the images. Something that I want to apply for the panel is that I can add the custom property here to be overflow clip. In this case, it's going to help us to keep the images contained with that. Um, to apply some effects like borders and things like that. All right, so for this image in particular, um, I'm going to add the images a little later. I want to create the other five elements we need for this. So in the layout, for the panel is going to be something like that. It's going to be flex and horizontal direction. Then for the panel, let's add a hundred um, width and let's create some gap between these elements, something around that. Then the panel, um, the panel should be around 20 rem I forgot to add like a height for the images as well. So let's make it a hundred as well. And I can add some border to the panel too. Let's add one rem. Yep, that works. Then uh, I can replace the images. Let's use something that we have here. Probably skipped one of those, yeah that one and the latest one like that okay so we have five elements here now let's add the animation so I want these panels to contain individual classes like this two three four five then for this panel I'm going to start with this interaction I'm going to choose and hover and in hover, I want to start an animation. It's going to be called panel accordion. Oops, <laughs> I have to, sorry, that was the, the search. So this is actual name. Then the action for this, I want this panel to be um, the width of it. I want it to be uh, around 80%. Then instead of having the interaction element, I want to target the class of this. Then I want 
the second element to be 20%, the third element to be also 20%. But instead of doing this, actually, I can just duplicate the element and then target the other element, do the same thing. I can duplicate, go to target, and change the target. On this one, I want 10% to the panel 4. And for the last panel, panel 5, I want 10% as well. Let's take these two pieces and join them here. So in this case, when I hit or click this element, I'm going to have the, um, the first element to be 80% of the width of the pattern wrapper. And now with this setup, I can go to the, or the other elements and apply the same math for those, so the same widths. So this is going to be panel accordion, or let's call it just panel one to simplify a little bit this then the panel 2 is going to be also on hover I want to apply the same animation so I'm going to duplicate this and in this case the panel 1 is going to convert into 20% because I'm hovering the second element the second element um, which is panel 2 is going to be 80% then panel 4 is going to keep the 10% Panel 5, keep the 10%. Panel 2 is 80. Panel 1, 20. I need a panel 3. Where did it go? Okay, panel 3 is, is good. Uh, yeah, it's good. So let's preview what we have. So we have panel 1, panel 2. So in this case, there is something wrong with this because this first panel is not shrinking as I need to. Okay, so let's investigate what's going on. So panel one, 20%. Panel two, okay, panel three. So here's where you have the, the, the little conflicting thing. So I'm going to make sure I'm using all the elements with this class. So I like using this trick about having like unique classes so I can apply this animation to unique classes. Right, so with that, I can save, I can check the first animation, making sure I also, I'm targeting the classes instead of the siblings or, or children or, or anything like that. Okay, good. So let's preview that again. One, two, okay, that's good. Now let's go for the third, the third one and it's going to be the same the same principle. So I'm going to start animation. I'm going to duplicate panel three. So panel one is twenty percent. Um, in this case, it's going to be ten percent. Panel three is going to be our target uh, target panel. Then panel two is going to be um, twenty percent. Panel four. 20% and panel 5 is going to be 10% so in this case I have the middle position to create this distance just like that okay we are almost done so let's go for panel 4 hover let's duplicate this panel 4 settings first element 10 percent is good the other the second sorry this is the third one so it's going to be 20 percent because it's going to be the sibling so it's, it's pretty simple the game we are just trying to target the the elements that you know that are next to the one that we want to to increase or decrease so the, the bigger one and the, the the other like this the the neighbors of the bigger one are just 20 percent so the fourth is 80% and the final is going to be 20%. Sorry, 80%, did I say that? Yeah, 20%. Okay, let's check that. So, boom. Okay, looking better. 
And finally, we go to the panel 5, we make it hover, play the animation, duplicate that, target that. Panel 1, 10% is good. Panel 3 is going to be good at 20. Panel 2 is going to be good at 10. Panel 3 is going to be good at 20%. And panel 5 is going to be good at 80%. I think it's, I have something wrong with this. Um, I think it's fine. All right, so the last thing about this is, well, there is another step. So I really want these animations to contain or to have like um, a better ending. So I'm going to ease the out position of the animation through all of them. But let's make it one second as well, too. One second. Ease out. Okay. Good. Let's check it this one again. One second. It's good. One second. Out port. One second, out court. Out court and one second. Okay, those are the five. Now you're wondering, hey, what about the, you know, the beginning of the animation? So it's pretty simple. So what we are going to do is that we are going to target the body of the page and inter interactions. I'm going to take the page trigger and page starts load, I'm going to target the first one. So when the page loads, then I have this and I can start playing with the animation. Okay, so that was it. This is how to create this horizontal accordion here on Nativity in Webflow.